Remember to click subscribe and notification button for more Abbas video. Cooking Appa. Hi, this is Cooking Appa. Appa will be uploading minimum four videos every week, so you can find Appa's new video on every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday at Malaysian time 7 p.m. at night. And so far, over the past two and a half years, Appa has uploaded over 600 videos. So you can come to our Cooking Appa YouTube channel to take a look when you are free. Now, today, um, my wife actually, uh, she managed to buy some pre-made <coughs> uh, kimchi from a nice Korean lady uh, through her colleague. And uh, I tested it before, it's, it's pretty good. It is not super sour, but uh, at least I know they did not add any um, um, vinegar inside. <laughs> Some of it that I buy, I, I actually suspect they added the vinegar. The, the sourish taste totally doesn't uh, feel very natural. So anyway, so because of that, I'm going to make some Korean barbecue today. And um, I have approximately, this is about two and maybe 250 grams of pork belly. Um, cut it into this, this um, just in case you don't know how I actually cut it. Um, what you do here is you you cut, uh, give a cut for every probably about one centimeter gap. Uh, give a light cut, probably cut into about 30 to 40 percent only. Don't break it. Okay, and throw the whole thing and then turn the other way around. Oops. Turn to the other way around and uh, cut it in between also one centimeter and also cut about 30 to 40 percent. Don't cut it through. So you are going to get this. You're going to get this and uh, when you are in this and um, when you are using this, the later when you pan fry, uh, you are, it's going to give more surface for it to be char. Okay, so that's the whole purpose. Uh, I saw one Korean TV doing that. So, I of of course I also have one with marination. Actually, the marination is super simple. This is a uh, pork loin, or you can use pork shoulder. Any any lean meat you can have. One small piece of pork loin here. Use sanjang, okay? Use uh, I actually use the use the Korean sanjang to uh, to marinate. Now usually there will be three types of paste that you will see outside. One is red color, that is the sweet chili paste. Number two is the brown color, that is the bean paste. This one is a combination, okay? So usually when you eat uh, the Korean barbecue and you will see they will give you a chili dip. It is this one. Okay, so this is actually the mixture. And I always use this to marinate the meat, which is just, just put it in like that and then uh, it's good to go. So marin I only marinate this for uh, just about two hours before just now. So, of course I have some sliced chili. I don't have green chili today. I use uh, uh, red chili and also some sliced garlic. Okay, so we can actually start cooking. Um, I have here with me a toy I bought from Taobao, China. <laughs> it's actually a grill plate. Okay, it's actually a grill plate. Go ahead and look for it from at, at the Taobao. I don't know how to tell you. Um, but it's, it's a plate that you can... Uh, it's quite fun, it's quite fun. Okay, I actually, uh, 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 actually uh, tried to grill some chicken wing here also very nice. So just, it's electric, okay? It's using electric. So... I'm going to put some oil on top here. Uh, I am not, I am not, um, wreck. I mean, uh, making a, this video because of this thing here, right? No, no, no. It just so happened that I'm going to use this to do my. Ah, I can actually start starting to feel the heat coming out. Okay, give it. I think you probably need about a minute or two to for it to raise the heat. We will come back shortly. All right, you can feel the heat coming out. So you can carefully pull in the pork. Oh, listen to the sizzling sound. I always like sizzling sound. Uh, and I can actually put in my marinated pork as well. You can also fry your garlic if you want, or you can even fry your kimchi, uh, just for the sake of showing on this particular video. Actually, you can also fry some kimchi. Eh? Oh, by the way, if you don't have this, don't worry. Just use a normal uh, stainless steel pot, okay? 
uh, or, or stainless steel pan also can. So kimchi after after uh, pan frying, it will actually uh, mellow down the the strong uh, the pungent flavor. All right, which is pretty good. Okay, I can use high heat. Right. While waiting, I feel like making some drinks for my family. Right. So uh, let's not waste any time. I feel like making some soy bean milk for my family today. So what you are looking at here is a machine called. Uh, this is called the. It should be the Voltex. I think the Voltex from the Pacifica. Yeah. It is actually a, a blender, a soy bean milk maker. Even you can even make coffee, uh, grind, uh, make fresh brew coffee every day that's what my wife is doing now every morning she only takes her about think six she told me six six minutes six minutes so anyway today i'm going to make soya bean milk so i have about half cup of uh, soya bean here dry yeah you don't even have to soak it put it in and then uh you adjust your sugar to your own taste i'm going to put in about probably about two tablespoons because i'm going to use 800 ml of water If you only do like three to uh, five hundred ml, so maybe you only you will only use uh, one table one between one tablespoon or you adjust yourself. Just just adjust yourself. Okay, then after that, close it. There's a water tank behind. So and then now we just need to choose a menu. This is dried beans. Okay, I'm not sure if you can see the word. This is dried bean I'm using here. And the water, I'm going to choose 800 ml. Okay, so if it's not sweet enough, later I can still add a little bit of sugar towards the end like that, yeah, uh, before serving, so it's fine. So you adjust and uh, press start. 19 minutes. So I will continue. After 19 minutes, actually, if you only make like 300 ml or 500 ml, it will take you less than 15 minutes. So I actually chosen 800 ml just now, so it will need. 19 minutes and it will go it will works everything up by itself it will actually cook the bean it will blend it uh, after that uh, it's ready and um, if you prefer a smoother texture you can also do a sieve process if you don't want to do the sieve process you can just drink together with a, a little bit of powder inside it's totally up to you i prefer to sieve it okay and the best thing is after everything is done this machine wash by itself can you imagine that Okay, that's how uh, it is not. It is I won't. I won't say it's very cheap, but but it's definitely worth the investment. Okay, especially for all the busy people staying in the bigger cities every day. So this is the water tank behind. Always make sure you fill up with the uh, purified water. All right, so I will go back to continue making my barbecue pork. All right, coming back to my barbecue. The way the kimchi is definitely done. I'm going to take it out. The meat will probably take another couple of minutes. So I have some uh, cook, I have some cook uh, kimchi, and some fermented kimchi. All right. Okay. So basically, it has uh, the meat has uh, hardened. This is the time where we can actually bring your scissors. Uh, this is eating at home, so you can actually choose to cut it in the bigger chunks. Usually outside, you don't get this kind of thickness for your meat for sure. At home, we can be more a bit more luxury a bit.
This one also. I think I have to lower down the heat. It's very hot. This one also I'm going to use to cut it into smaller pieces. But it's going to be faster because just now it's already cut half. Halfway, yeah. So nice to have Korean barbecue at home. Actually, I bought this not for Korean barbecue. I bought this for barbecue chicken wing. <laughs> and uh, I'm not using this this uh, plate. There's actually another plate, another surface. Yeah, another uh, stainless uh, stainless steel surface meant for barbecue chicken wing and also uh, fish. By the way, those who complain I talk too much or my video is too long, just fast forward, don't worry. Press the fast forward button. Alright. Okay, so I'm going to continue cook this for a couple of minutes. Then it will be done. All right, you can see it's actually this is after about a few minutes. It's starting to blend, starting the blending process and cooking process at the same time. Now what you are looking here is actually another machine. You probably see me posting posting this before. These two actually belongs to the same company, Pacifica, and this is actually a steamer. I'm telling you, my best soup ever in my whole life is done through this particular machine as well. So these two things, you can, you can buy them separately or you can buy them in a bundle. If you buy them in a bundle, it's even cheaper. Now they are giving us some special discount. You just go and uh, look for the uh, um, details on how, where to buy inside the description box. Okay, inside the description box. See how beautiful it is. Very, very creamy now. All right. It's basically almost done. I'm going to wrap this, wrap the meat, yeah, uh, using a lettuce later, all right? So, I'm going to, which plate I'm going to use. Okay, I'm going to use this one. So there's some marinated lean meat here and also some pork belly. Oops. Uh, this one I will let it. It's actually, most of it is fat. I'll let it cook for a while. Alright. Alright, after I finish cooking my barbecue pork, uh, the soya bean milk is also ready. It's here. So, um, it is doing some, like I said just now, it will actually, this machine will wash by itself. Uh, there are generally two stages of washing. Uh, one stage they will wash here, put it, add in some water and wash it and then put it over uh, inside the container inside there. And then the second one, the second round is by hot air. It's called uh, hot dry, I think. So to really get rid of all the, uh, the, uh, the, the aroma, yeah? the aroma are coming up, especially after you have blend some coffee. <laughs> so the hot dry, uh, it's actually hot dry function is actually very very important. Actually, this is my first time using 800 ml. Mm. 
so I'll wait until the time actually finishes. Then only I will take it out. Sometimes if it doesn't finish and you take it out, the whole the whole system will actually stop. So that is a safety season, safety uh, measure, which is very good. Okay. All right. So I was wrong just now. Uh, what I said just now, it was it hasn't started washing just now. That was to add more water inside here. Okay. Uh, now only finished. And right after this, it's going to start the uh, self-washing uh, process. Luckily, I did not remove this just now. <laughs> because I remember you will only finish in the last one minute. Ah, see, it is starting the seven minute auto clean machine right now. Um, so basically our soya bean milk, this is 800 ml, already done. Yep. And you are looking at the this is the cleaning and self-washing uh, process right now. So after washing this, the water will actually go down to one, to one container here. All you need to do is just to remove and throw out the water uh, they, they actually came in here. So this machine washed by itself and this is the reason why my wife will use this to brew coffee every day. <laughs> because no need to wash. <laughs> Alright, so and it looks so good that I actually put these two machines on my living hall. Alright, here's my Korean barbecue pot together with 800 ml of soya bean milk made within just now 19 minutes. If you are only making 300 ml or 500 ml, it will take you 15 minutes or lesser. Okay, if you are making coffee, I think my wife told me 6 minutes only. <laughs> Even faster. And they all taste pretty good, yeah? And you can make all kinds of dessert. Alright, now so what do I have here? I have my barbecue pot with some lectures. This is the sanjang. I told you just now, the sanjang. This is the uh, salt and also ses Korean sesame oil. This is the uh, pan fry, uh, saute, saute kimchi that we did just now. I have some raw garlic and red chili and also fermented, uh, this is the kimchi. There you go. A nice, actually my mother-in-law is helping me to make some soup, some seaweed soup right now at the side. Okay, so that's all for today. I hope, uh, like I said, man, like I mentioned earlier, if you want to know more on uh, the machines, the Voltex and the Forge from Pacifica, I'll put the information into the description box. Okay, uh, yeah. if you like my video, do share my, do uh, come and click on my, uh, for, and follow my Facebook. If, and also come and follow, subscribe to my Cooking Appa YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Uh,